for this week is fear, and we've just remembered an event from 10 years ago that struck fear into a lot of people. But God understands fear as well. In the Bible, over a hundred times he uses the phrase, do not be afraid. He must understand how much fear there is in the world. The truth of the matter about fear is, is that it actually is a true measure, a true sort of litmus test of where our faith is. If we're afraid of God and he comes into the people's lives through an angel or whatever, he says to them, do not be afraid because they're, they're not sure about themselves if they are worthy to be with God. If we're uh, fearful about the future, it shows that my faith is actually in, in myself or in my ability to control something. If I'm worried about my security or fearful about my, my security, then it shows that my, my faith is really in uh, my circumstances, that if they really work out well, then, then it'll all be okay. But God says to us, do not be afraid. So this week, as you read the verses that are listed in this email, I'd, I'd really encourage you to, to, to think less about your fear and more about the God who says, do not be afraid. Because the key to fear is that you can't conquer your fears by telling yourself to be brave. The way we conquer our fears is by looking at the one who says, do not be afraid. So as you look and read this week, I'd like you to think about uh, the things you're fearful of and what God has to say about that. So I encourage you this week as you, uh, as you look at your fears to think less about them and more about God. <music>